welcome to or welcome back to my channel my name is audrey and um yeah today is my weekly video where i kind of just do stuff for me but <laughs> i didn't really get to do much because i had a doctor's appointment so that took up like majority of my morning plus it's rainy and weird outside um so today is gonna be a little bit shorter I mean, long for me, but I'm going to speed it up for you because I'm just going to show you, you guys me building my bookshelf because it finally came. Don't know where I'm going to put it. I brought it all the way upstairs, so it's going to be really upsetting if it does not fit up here. Um, We will see the vibes once I put it together. I will show you guys me putting it together. But one thing I did do while I was out in the rain, um, I got myself some food and I went and took a trip to Barnes & Noble's. Um... So it's kind of like a little, I guess I'll put like a little haul first before we build this bookshelf together. Um, I was going to build the bookshelf and listen to the audiobook, but I think I'm just going to finish reading that book later tonight and catch up on some shows, maybe watch a movie while I put this together, just because I feel like that is more of the vibes. Actually, no, I feel like an audiobook would be more of the vibes because I don't know how well We'll see. I'm going to finish this episode of Love is Blind and we'll see if I'm going to put on a movie or put an audiobook on and then watch the movie later. We'll see. We will see. But let's do a haul. I got my own little personal squishy. This guy is so cute. There's a bunch downstairs, but they're my kiddos. And so this one is going to stay up here with me on my bed. And this is going to be my little emotional support. Well, not stay upstairs, but this is going to be with me when I read. I just it feels so soft and cuddly like this is just gonna be my emotional support squishy it's, these are squishmallows I don't even know if this is technically a this is a squish a smoko it's a smoko whatever I saw this at Barnes and Noble and it was so cute so soft the guy at the register was like yeah every time we get a, like a shipment of these I just want to like take a nap with these they are so soft and they literally are so soft you just squeeze them and they're so soft and i just really felt like i needed a little emotional support a little squishy thingy because i'm currently reading magnolia parks you guys i'm almost done with magnolia parks i well I'm not almost done i'm not i'm definitely not on chapter 23 could not put it down you guys i um I did pick this up on audio. I did pick up Magnolia Parks on audio on my way home because I was just so invested at the doctor's office that I did not want to put it down. So I am now on chapter 32, page 216. So this is, I think I am halfway now. Am I? Yeah, I think I'm halfway now, just about halfway i'm like right there so i'm completely obsessed with this book and so i was just, i'm obsessed with the series already this is a five star and i predicted it was a five star the tiktok girlies are correct when they said this book right here is the book is the book like my jaw has hit the floor so many times when reading this so that's why i'm debating if i should just put this back on audio while i build it after i watch the episode of love is blind or if I should just watch my movie or if I should maybe watch my movie later and just finish this. So like I said, because I want to continue reading Magnolia Parks, I think I'm just scratching everything and I'm just going to read Magnolia Parks and then I'm going to pick up after I finish Magnolia Parks. This last one is thick. Okay, so I couldn't pick up Daisy Hates the Great Undoing. So I only got these two here because uh, they didn't have it at the Barnes. So I ordered it and they said they'll be here by Friday, which is perfect because I'm going to start Daisy Hates. And then if I don't have it by Friday, then I'll just, um, I'll still be good because I have Magnolia Parks a long way home, which is before Daisy Hates. And then we have Into the Dark. And these ones are thick. I did not realize that they were so... Thick. I could probably even see about downloading on my Kindle and just being extra because they are so thick. I am just devouring. I'm eating them up. One thing about Miss Jessa is she gonna write. She can write for TV. I think I said that in another video. She can write for TV because the drama is dramaing. And I read Never by her too, and oh, I love Never so so much. 
I'm still a little bit behind on that video because I did want to do a video on Never. I don't know if I'm still going to do it though. I have to see. I have to see. But I think we're going to vlog Magnolia Parks. So ah, I'm so excited. So I got these two and then I have Daisy Hates coming to be delivered. Hopefully by Friday they said. Why am I saying Friday? Probably Monday or Sunday. I don't know. They said three to five business days. Don't really know, but I will be trying to vlog, vlog this for you guys. And I'm so excited. They're so pretty. We're just missing that. And then lastly at Barnes & Noble, I picked up this little Romeo & Juliet like um, bookmark card thing. Um, I just, I really like this. Um, and then I picked up this Pokemon bookmark. So I just thought they were really cute. You can never do without like, you can never have too many bookmarks especially because I usually do read multiple books at one time so I don't know if I'm gonna read multiple books at one time though right now because I have never been so like consumed with a series since Akatar. well since I got back into reading so Akatar was the first series where like it really, really consumed me but even then I broke it up I didn't read the books back to back to back like with Harry Potter I still haven't finished it because I, I was not reading the books back to back to back so I think maybe when I get to the last couple books because they're thicker I might break it up and do like something short like on my Kindle or something like that or maybe a short book on my TBR but we have bookmarks that's the little um Barnes haul now let's get to Love is Blind building this bookshelf and that will be kind of a wrap. Thank you for watching and have a good one. shelf I just have I guess like my science fiction fantasy books right down there on the shelf here um, I just have some fantasies I mean not fantasies I have romances right down here so I just have like the long shot love in other words bride one for my enemy so I read these already so I don't really like to put books I haven't read on my bookshelf it's kind of like the empty spaces here um just because I don't I think I get confused if I like don't have them like if I have them here I, I guess I kind of get confused so I guess that's why I got like the TBR cart downstairs to you know keep the books that I have not read in check so right down here I just have Rufus Files and Divine Hyrule's literal favorite I'm obsessed 
here I have um, the Once Upon a Broken Heart trilogy. Like So it's three books for the series. I did not have a hardcover for this. I had only had the paperback. So it, <laughs> it is what it is. I don't know if I'm going to really like go get the hardcover so they all match. Don't know. I love the series, but... I think if I were to reread it, then maybe I would get the hardcover so all of it matches. Well, girl, who am I kidding? I probably will get the hardcover of Once Upon a Broken Heart so that it all matches um, versus getting the paperback of that because like these two are already hardcover. So. And I like the first one, I think, the best anyway. So I don't mind having two copies of the first one. Or if anything, I can always donate that because I'm al I'm always donating and getting rid of stuff because I don't see the point in keeping stuff if I am not using it. It can always go to better use. So I'll probably end up donating that and getting a new copy that matches that. It's like a little bench right there that I could like sit on. Right now I just have like my iPad and computer right there. So yeah, this is my put together bookshelf i think it's cute for right now um i'm obviously going to need more book space uh, once i read more books but i think this is good this is a cute little start i obviously i guess still have like my tbr cart downstairs with books on it and then i have books up here that are kind of like the priority that are just like kind of all over the room so i thought maybe i could even do like hanging shelves i I don't know where I would put the hang shelves. The reason why I don't like it is because I can't really put books like up here or up here. I have to face them this way. In so like, let's see, what I mean, I can't put it here. And even if I was to move the shelf, then it's like one of them, the book is still gonna have to be like this. So it kind of doesn't matter how I put it. There's no way I can get both. It's just not a just small I guess but it's weird because in the picture it made it seem like I could put like like it would be big enough where I could put books um, facing the long way I might just become a Kindle girly I think that's what I was trying to do anyway once but it's something it's just something about buying physical books that I can can't completely give up but I don't want it to become obsessive like over like way too much um so i think i'm definitely gonna be on a band and i'm gonna try to read more on my kindle and utilize the library and that way when i'm getting books it's books that i absolutely love on my bookshelves like i 100 love them i would reread them i would annotate highlight like, books that i love um so i think i'll also go through my shelves now too to see um about any books that I don't love that I can just get, a, get rid of too. Because yeah, it's nice to have all these books, but I'd rather just be like books I love versus just having every single book um, that I read. I mean, I guess good. that's what Goodreads and trackers are for, kind of, to track so you know everything you read. Um, hope you enjoyed this little video of my bookshelf and my little book haul. Today was just a rainy day, so. Yeah, sometimes when doing stuff for yourself, it's just nice to have, like, chill. It's nice, like, even when you want to really do a lot of stuff for yourself. or It's nice to sometimes just not do anything. Yeah, so. Didn't do much today, but it was still nice. I still had the time to do a little something for myself in building this, so. Again, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.